Call of Duty just released a site that reduces your visual recoil. Now, this will work on any gun in the game. And if I were you guys, I would unlock this and put this on my primary and my secondary. So as of right now, this is easily the best site in the game. And it is the only site in the game that reduces your visual recoil. So if you guys want to see this gun in action, I have a crazy hole over 26 build. We dropped 39 kills. Like, I'm not even joking. 39 kills on Fortress Keep with this site on both our primary and our secondary. So I've been using this site for a couple games on both my primary and secondary. And I don't know if it's like a placebo effect or whatever, whatever you want to call it, but the reticle on this gun really does not move. Like, it's actually crazy how much straighter I'm shooting with this. But like I said, man, I probably could just be imagining stuff because I was shooting straight before this uh, optic came out, too. Just fall back a little bit. We located the rest of All right, can I play it up now? Somebody's climbing a ladder somewhere. I don't know if that's in front of me or the building be or my building. Also, by the way, this camo is so tough. It's gonna be a sad day when the developers nerf this thing. What does this tracker look like? I've never actually paid attention to that. Like, am I like a red highlight on his screen now, or like how does that work? Come on, man, hurry up, make a move. All right, you know what? I'm getting tired of waiting. <laughs> just leave me alone. Just y'all, just leave me alone. These knives are dangerous. Everything reloaded. Just about. Bomb drone. Where? Because I, I promise y'all, the bomb drone will always come after me every time. But yeah, man, if you guys unlock this, which I think you, I mean, I recommend you guys to unlock this, but. If and when you do, you want to throw this on both of your guns, primary and secondary. Bro, we've been close to dying like 10 times already. Because, like, you don't have anything to lose by doing it. The site says that it reduces visual recoil, and it is the only site in the game that does that. Please climb this ladder. Go ahead and kill him. Oh my god. Hunt them down. Kill the downer. Is that outside? Hey, what is going on right now? I don't like this. There's a lot of singles over here fighting. Small teams of two, but. For the most part, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one fights going on. I like that. Let's see if we can try to get a UAV, though. There's no way you came back to sit on the counter. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. I cannot stand these glasses. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Right, let's get this UAV up. Let's see what's going on around here. There are 24 enemies active. Kill them all. Also, that's another thing. Uh, talking about sites. If you guys go from the Corio Eagle site to this one, the rest of them. You, you have so much to game because, We've one, you're reducing visual recoil the because of the site already saying that it does that, right? Damn. But then you're also reducing more visual recoil because you're Optics gonna be one one and a half times lower. Because you're going from a two and a half to a one point oh. 
So if you feel like you can't shoot straight before, try it out now and just see how it goes. Also, that's another thing. Like the weekly challenges are kind of easy to get too. So. Enemies dropping. Uh, oh shit! You shooting me out there? Oh my god. That would have been nice. If I had more bullets. Is this all underground? This is grass. I am book. I actually just go inside of that building. It's been so much fighting going on this whole time I've been here over there. Damn, I tried to jump up through the window. That would have been nice. Is that zombies on the map? How are there zombies in there? Since when? Alright, you know, we're going in there. At this point, why not? Let's make sure we get smokes just in case. Oh my god, this is gonna kill me, huh? This nigga's in the back? Oh, it's a mimic down here. Nah, nah, I'm good on fighting mimics. Well, I'm kind of curious. What do I get for killing this right here? If I actually do do that. Fire sale, max ammo. Enemy soldier incoming. I wonder if my pistol's still here. This guy's knocked. I'm gonna let him res. Fuck you, awesome. That's all I needed. My pistol. I got you. Can you res him? I got a plate. Nope, I'm dead. One pushing. Right around the corner. Alright, uh, you can res him. You can res him. I'll let you res. That's actually crazy that did damage to me. Wait, hold on. We got to get out of here. I've seen a mimic and just lost my mind. Forgot what I was supposed to be doing here. Hey, we got to rotate out. Gas came in clutch. All right, now we can see what we're working with. What do we have? Eight people left. Let's go. Um, let's go get a UAV. Actually, this is perfect. Five squads still operational. You're losing ground. Move it. Friendly UAV. All right, let's close out the show. But yeah, man. After this, go unlock this site. I think it's definitely worth it. Easily one of the best sites in the game right now. Enemies are dropping into the area. Also, this Hogger 26 is actually crazy. This Hogger 26 is not bad at all. I'm surprised more people are not using this gun. Not a cluster mine. Squad left in the war 
zone. Stay alert. Enemies weak ended by your efforts, soldier. Yep, keep picking that window. Advanced UAV is being good fuel. I'll see you. Man, I why is that still on the ground? Let me see, we got another self res. So if we end up dying in the gas, I could just self res. Hopefully one of these clusters not go through that window. All right, well played. Now it's one v four. We got this. I think it's a 1v1. Why am I nervous right now? What is going on? Come on, man. Drop a like. Let's get into the class setup now. So to start off the class setup, you want to use the Hoger 26. This thing is almost comparable in time to kill with the MTZ 762. So start this off you want to go with the suppressor right here you get extra damage range bullet velocity a little bit of recoil control and this barrel is really what makes this gun that much better because on top of everything i just said you're increasing that even further with this barrel and then next up what we do is put on the bruin heavy because the good thing about the holger is that it already comes with 60 rounds so you actually don't need a magazine on here and then for that reason you can go ahead and put on the stock that will reduce that recoil even more and then lastly to finish off this build Use a jack glassless because like I said before, it helps out with the firing aim and stability. So basically less visual recoil. And then for the secondary HMR build, honestly, I like this build with the sight on it, but this is not my normal go-to build. I just threw the sight on just for the video so you guys can see how it is on a secondary for those of you who use those. But now this is like the regular build that I recommend. This is easily the best secondary in the game right now or the AMR9. 